let's get into a segment we like to call What's Up Doc, where we spend some time with the experts at Mercy Health, get to know them a little bit, a little bit about what they do and how you can take advantage of the fine care offered by Mercy Health as well. And uh, this morning, we're going to talk a little bit about primary care, and we're going to do that with Dr. Raji Shemigan. I hope I got it right. I sometimes get these things wrong. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for letting me do. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Was I in the ballpark with your name? Yeah, it's the right name. Excellent. You did a good thumb, yeah. One for one. I feel good already. Thumbs up from the doctor is all we need. All right. Now, I think we have a handle on the answer to this one, but let's get it from someone who would know exactly what the definition of primary care physician is. And the primary care physician is uh, it's a medical doctor who is trained to prevent, diagnose, and treat a wide range of conditions that affect people at varying life stages. That is mean that we are expertise and training to screen your health condition, keep your immunization up to date, conduct tests to diagnose your condition, treat when you are sick or injured, and sometimes if we need, we will refer you to the specialist. We are just like a gatekeeper for all the medical conditions. I was just I was thinking that very same thing. You are the gateway, basically, then to all of medicine. If uh, I'm at home and I'm feeling weird, I'm feeling strange, I've got a, a, something that I am concerned with, you are my first contact then. Yes, definitely, yes. So, so you, how long have you been a primary doctor, first of all? And in my country, 10 years, and in the United States, at least like 10 years now. And in what what percentage of doctors would you say that uh, going into the medical profession uh, go to just the primary instead of going to uh, to a specialist t type of area? And it's depend upon where. Sometimes it will be go like twenty five to fifty percent is going to the primary care, and some are going to the specialist. All right. You know, the one thing we didn't do when we got this uh, this chat started with you, Doctor, is a little background on you. Tell us about a little bit about where you're from and uh, and what inspired you to get into medicine. Yes, in my country, I'm a, as a general physician, like a primary care, and I came to United States. And then I graduated from the Reading Hospital, Pennsylvania. And then I moved to Bloomington. In Bloomington, I'm doing as a primary care physician. I do... I did the, what do you call it, the outpatient clinic as well as the geriatric medicine. So geriatric medicine means I'm covering the nursing home, all the nursing home, like a three nursing home in Bloomington. And one is the Alzheimer Health Unit. I did as a medical director in three nursing homes. So I'm doing as an outpatient as well as a geriatric population. And how long have you been, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Y yes, the, so the age is, is a wide range from 18 to the above, yeah, and adult, all men and women and geriatric population, yes. And how, how long have you been uh, here in the Rockford area? And six months now. Oh, six months. Welcome to the area. Yeah. And is, Thank you. is medicine something that, you know, you, you grew up uh, knowing all along, I'm, I want to be a doctor, I want to take care of people, or is it something that just occurred to you at one point? Yes, yes. Uh, because my one time my father's sick and we need the medical, you know, advice. And so then I realized that medicine is very important. And I want to be a primary care because we first we don't know where to go because of my father has a heart issue. So the primary care physician, you know, advised us to go this physician refer timely manners and we got a good result. So at that time I, you know, that made me. I'm doing as a primary care. You're not. You're not the first uh, doctor we've had on here that said that uh, something that happened with their parents and, and seeing the medical attention they received uh, as, as a youth uh, put them into uh, in, into the medicine profession. Uh, is is that? I mean, have you talked to other people the same same you know uh, origin story as yours, uh, being inspired by uh, by doctors as, as a youth? Yes, yes, because I. My father is also the physician, so it is like a, the whole family. We know that it's a, it's a very important for us. Oh, it's the family business then. All right. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's a good way of looking <laughs> at it anyway. Way, yes, yes. Uh, as a primary care physician, you know, a, a lot of people, I, I've talked to people before, and I, and I will say to them, well, who's your doctor? Well, I, I don't really have a doctor. You know, if something comes up, I'll, I'll go into one of the clinics and all that. Why is it important to establish a relationship with a primary care physician? Because it is very important to 
relation with the primary care physician because we can track your own health annually. We can do the, what you call it, blood pressure check, cholesterol, blood sugar, kidney function. That can change over time and in, that indicate risk for the various health conditions. We can prevent the heart attacks and we can prevent the strokes. So those are the most, you know, common disability in Illinois and cause of death in Illinois. So those are, we can, we can pick up early. Small changes can make the, you know, a lot of big changes in long term. What's some, what's some of the information that uh, people might not think they need to share with uh, with a primary physician that, uh, that that you that you would you would be happier if more people let let you know about? Uh, what is the question? Is more people? Sorry, what, what kind of information do people maybe don't don't give uh, give their primary physician you know about about their health uh, that you you want people to know about? It's you should be sharing this stuff with your doctor. They can share with anything, you know. They can share with some people share their psychiatric issues. Some people share everything with a, because of the primary care physicians that we treat everything. So from pediatric to geriatric population. For me, I'm doing only start age from 18 to geriatric. So there's no, you know, such a things that they cannot share because of primary care. So we are trained for everything. So. I would think one of the gratifying uh, parts about your job would be uh, being the uh, the primary care physician for a family of people. You you know you got mom, dad, you got kids, you yeah. got grandparents, you got cousins. I mean, when when the entire family thinks of you as their doctor, you've got a lot more information to work off of when dealing with each one of them individually. Yes, yes, we get all the information. We know the whole families, and yeah, you're right. Do you uh, do you, do you see yourself retiring as a, as a primary physician, or, or would you like to branch out, maybe maybe a focus on the geriatric uh, uh, wing or, or or something else? Are you you staying as a, as a, as a primary physician throughout your career? You think? Yes, I love the primary care because I love to do everything. You know, like a joint injections and also the you know, I want to see the just the acute illness and any chronic condition like complex medical disease like diabetics and hypertension like that. So. I want to be in all around. So primary care is the, my main focus. Outstanding. And for people who've been listening this morning and think, well, I like the fact that this is his main focus. How do people uh, get in touch with you and schedule an appointment? They can call my phone, the uh, clinic phone number, 815-971-2790. And we are at the Marcy Health Perryville Building, located at... 3401 North Perryville Road, Rodford, Illinois, 61114. Outstanding. Dr. Shibigam, thanks a lot for taking time out of your day with us. We really appreciate the chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh. your time. All Thank right. You.